long time ago in a small village of tripura there lived a farmer named elias who was poor but hard working person he worked day and night along with his wife and became the richest man of the village i will work hard so that my family will become happy i am tired let me go home oh my dear you came back please come and sit here you are working hard don't you feel tired have some food yes i get tired but when i think of you and our children it gives me strength yes dear come and see what i have achieved for you can you see the number of cattle that has increased many fold a large number of people are working under me yes i can see i hear that people in the district are praising you some of them are jealous of you oh my god elias is a fortunate man yes he has plenty of everything the world is fortunate for him to live in yes yes, yes. See my dear children Ajay and Sudha I have everything this is a result of my hard work so you have to work hard yes father definitely we will obey you and work hard Ajay come let's go somewhere and roam no I have some work so I cannot go I want to work hard like my father You don't need to work hard because you have everything come with me Yes Vijay I forgot that I have everything what I need so why will I work let me ask money to my mother Mother give me some money i want to spend it on something yes but what will you do with that why are you asking me that you don't have trust in me do you think i will misuse it no my dear this is the result of the hard work that your father has done mother what excuses are you giving me if you don't want to give then don't give i don't want to live in this house anymore Let's go BJ One day unfortunately one kind of incurable disease spread in that village Elias daughter dies Oh my little princess why did you leave us you were our last hope you were our life we are very sorry we could not save you Oh my dear oh my dear We don't want to work for you anymore. We want to go from here. As you are unable to give us enough money and food, we want to go from here. Yes, my servant. I spent all my money. I sold my valuable things for the treatment of my daughter, but she left us. I have no money to give. And since this year, we had bad harvest. I can't provide you enough food and money. You can go. Hello Muhammad where are you going I came to meet you to meet us Yes I came here to ask you something Yes tell See I know the situation you are going through I want to help you 
I need servants in my house. If you don't mind, will you work for me as servants? Why not? It's a God's blessing that you came here today. We are very thankful to you. We will work for you. Okay then, come with me. This is my house. Go and work. Hello my friends. Come inside and sit there. Elias, bring tea for our guests. Yes sir. Did you notice something about this man? His mannerism seems so perfect. Exactly. He used to be the richest man in our town. His name is Elias. Of course, I have heard of him. He and his wife now live with me as servants. Does the old man grieve over what he has lost? Who can tell? He lives and works very quietly and peacefully. We would like to talk to him. Elias, come here. Well, I suppose you feel rather sad at the sight of us. It must be reminding you of your former prosperity and present sorrow. Sir, if you want to know what is prosperity, misfortune and happiness, ask my wife. Tell us lady. My present state is more peaceful and I wish for nothing better than this. But in what does your happiness lie? My old man and I lived for 50 years, striving for happiness but couldn't find it. When we were prosperous, we were leading our life in fear. We had no happiness. Now as servant, we had no tension but to serve our master best. We live in peace and have time to pray and speak to each other. Now we have found real happiness. Don't be surprised, my friends. It is the truth of life. We should value what God has given us, the real happiness. Thank you, my friend, for opening our eyes. Real life is in living with dear ones. One should not waste their life earning money only. Life should be enjoyed to the fullest. There is a saying, a key to find a happy balanced life is simplicity.